So far, most of you only know me by my name. Well, today, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. Come with me. What I haven't told you about me yet is that I grew up in a place a long way from here, a place called Arkansas in the United States of America. Well, I know you've already asked yourself, how did a guy like me, a redneck from Arkansas, end up in the Philippines? I'm gonna get to that in just a second, but stay tuned to the end. We've got a big giveaway today. Well, Matthew, where is Arkansas? Well, Arkansas, if you look right there on that map, just east of Texas, just north of Louisiana, I think it may still be the largest rice producing nation or largest rice producing state in the country. I was born and raised there working hard. I learned about the Philippines whenever my brother went away to serve in the United States Marine Corps. He served in the Philippines for many years as a Marine. And so from a young age, I've always been interested in the Philippines. And in 2013, after living most all of my life in the Philippines, I mean in Arkansas, I decided to start uh, getting out. Arkansas is a beautiful place, but I'd always wanted to live in Florida. So I began living in Florida, back and forth between Arkansas and Florida, before I uh, met my wife. My wife is from the Philippines, and a wonderful woman. And part of our story is, is that we had to uh, petition for her to come to the United States for us to be married. We had met online like many people do anymore. And uh, we spent 16 months apart while the petition process took place for her to come to the United States of America. That was the longest 16 months of my life. But she finally made it here. And as soon as she arrived here, after I'd gone back and forth to Florida a few times, we finally made that our permanent home. But we had some difficult days while we were in Florida because in 2001, I had had an accident that uh, it was a very serious accident that in 2016, well, it would come back to haunt me. You see, in 2001, I was doing construction work and I ended up in a, I was in a, con a parking garage, very much like the one I'm in right now. And uh, I was working that day and I was, the edge of the building at that time had cables around it to keep you from falling. And it had a ledge just like this, but it was much closer to the corner of the building. But one day I was working on the job and it was my job to check those cables. And I walked up to the edge of the building to check the cables and they had been loosened the night before. And whenever I put my weight on them and the pressure of my body fell against them, I went over 70 feet to the pavement down below. Well, fast forward to 2016. I was in my yard picking weeds like any other guy on a Saturday. And I reached down to pull a weed out of the garden just like this. And when I did, my spine collapsed. My vertebrae's L3, L4, L5 to S1 collapsed just like that. The pain was incredible. I went straight to the ER and I had no idea what was in store for me after that. As I told you earlier, I had spine surgery. Well, I fell, my spine collapsed in 2016, and I had to have major corrective spine surgery, and they had to fuse my vertebrae from L3 to S1. They used uh, screws, rods, metal hardware to put my spine back together. And I was that way for four years until 2022, whenever all of that hardware in my back began to come loose. Yeah, that's right. Screws in my back came loose. So I went to my surgeon and I told him, I said, uh, Doc, I said, the screws in my back are loose and they're killing me. The pain's just, it, it's like torture. It's like something medieval. He said, well, I can't believe that they're causing you the pain. And I said, you mean to tell me the guy who put three inch drywall screws in my spine and a titanium rod can't understand why I'm in so much pain. You gotta be crazy. So after some convincing, after a lot of uh, hard work to convince this guy that I was excruciating pain, and after you could see that the screws were coming through my actual flesh in my back, 
In 2022, those screws came out and now, thank God, they're in a jar back home, now here in the Philippines. I gotta take a break. Um, I get tired a lot. Uh, I'm disabled now, that's what the doctor said. That's what uh, unfortunately happens whenever you fall off a parking garage. Um, I have good days, I have bad days. Life has its ups, life has its downs, and sometimes I have more downs than I do ups. But you know what? I'm thankful to God that he saved my life whenever I fell. Um, so after all of that, after being you know, in a hospital for months on end, after being in a wheelchair, uh, I can walk again. You know, that's a miracle in and of itself, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, but my wife and I, well, that, that was a stressful period of time in our lives whenever I had, uh, had fallen and I'd had to be put back together again like Humpty Dumpty who fell off a wall. And uh, so we decided, you know what, maybe it's time for us to have a change in life, a change for our ministry, a change for our stress levels, a change for our, uh, you know, just for our, on our, on our pocketbook. So we did the research and, and realized that, you know, it would be much cheaper, uh, much easier on us if we were to move to the Philippines. My wife had been gone from the Philippines for eight long years. She hadn't seen her parents in eight years. And so we decided, uh, after much prayer and after just uh, you know studying and doing the research, we decided, you know what, we need to um, to move to the Philippines. Look at that beautiful skyline back behind me, back there. That's gorgeous. Uh, we decided we're going to pick up and move to the Philippines. And you know what, life is easier here. Um, we've got new hobbies, new interests that we're able to engage in here in the Philippines, and it's just really become a blessing to us to live here. I've been here now since back in September, and now it's January, I think, the 11th, and. Uh, Wow, has life been good in the Philippines? So I went from a place, little old town in Arkansas, back in the United States of America, to Florida, back to Arkansas, met my wife, we met online, like I said, and then after all these trials and tribulations of breaking my back and having it put back together again, now we're here in the Philippines. So what do we do here? Well, I'm gonna tell you what we do, but right now I gotta go through security. Hello, Paul. Nothing bad in my bag. I, um. What do we do here now? Well, we enjoy this beautiful city. We enjoy the people. Uh, what, what thing do we do the most? We scuba dive a lot. Well, Matthew, how do you scuba dive with a broke back? Well, a shout out to Blue Ribbon Dive Resort in Annie Lau. And we got a giveaway coming up about scuba diving for you divers out there um, that you're probably gonna appreciate. I dive a lot, why? Well, I get people that help me with my gear. I don't have to carry it around. They do that for me. I get it on in the water and I get to experience weightlessness and when you're weightless, the pain just goes away. Uh, underwater, the stress goes away. There's something about the high oxygen. There's something about just the uh, environment being underwater. 30 meters, 34 meters. That's absolutely incredible. So we scuba dive, we travel, we go to Bohol, we go to Cebu. Uh, we're hoping to go to Panglao very soon in the south. So uh, yeah, we just enjoy life here and we're trying to help other people. And with that, I want to tell you a neat story. Well, friends, I told you that uh, my wife and I, we like to, we enjoy the people here in the Philippines. One of the reasons why is this young man right here, Jomer. Hello, Say hi, Jomer. If you come here to Uptown Mall to Italianis, I come here a lot to shoot my vlogs, but I would encourage you to come here and ask for Jomer. Yeah, I'm always here. He's always sure. here. He's my friend and he's been very good to me tonight. And that's a big reason why we love the Philippines is because the people are just so kind. And, um, yeah, so come here and strike up a conversation. You know, you'll, you'll be a blessing to other people if you do. All right, I'm gonna get on to my coffee. Such a nice young man, uh, Jomer. I see him all the time whenever I come here for my coffee. By the way, if you come to Italiani's, you get free coffee if you join the BFF club. Look at that sunset behind us. Isn't that beautiful? I was telling you how the, the people here are just a blessing to us, and we've tried to be a blessing to them. We met a lady here uh, not too long ago. Her name was Lourdes. Lourdes has cancer. And her, her son was going around the neighborhood trying to collect money to help his mother. And we found out through uh, our water supplier that Lourdes was in the hospital and she needed a surgery. And if she didn't get that surgery, it was gonna take her life. So we were able to join in with some people in the community and we we're able to make a small, to us it's a small contribution, but a little bit of money in American and US dollars goes a long way in Philippine pesos. And because we were able to make a contribution to this uh, wonderful lady named Lourdes, she was able to have the surgery that she needed. And uh, we were able to continue to give and uh, we're able to help by blood. I'm not doing this for a pat on the back. I'm just telling you that a little bit of the love, a little bit of, uh, 
uh, United States dollars goes a long way here in the Philippines. And Americans can be a blessing to other people. Now I know that some people have a negative view of the Philippines and the people here. Well, if that's your case, then just, just tune out. Just don't watch the vlog. But I think the Filipino people are wonderful. And the Americans, one of the ways that we can be a blessing here is with our money, because it goes a really, really, really long way. And most of us that are here, we can spare a little bit of it. And, and it doesn't hurt to be kind whenever you get the chance. Kindness is free, just give it away. So what's the point? Why did I tell you about Matthew? Well, grew up in Arkansas, grew up in the South. Ended up in Florida for a long time. Been in ministry for a long time. Uh, have had a broke back. For the most part, I'm disabled. I don't do a whole lot. I can't do a whole lot. But I like to share these videos with you to, to encourage you. Uh, the Philippines is an easy place to live. That's why we moved here. A man that's got a broken body like me. My wife takes care of me. I'm not ashamed to say it. My wife is an angel. Uh, we take care of one another. Uh, that's the way marriage is supposed to be. Um, but we really have a great marriage here in the Philippines. The life is good here. The people are kind here. Our money goes a long way here. We can afford to live in a nicer place for less money here. Everything just works out for us here. We love it. Now, I said I had something to give away for you guys. I told you that we scuba dive. For all of you people out there that might happen to like the scuba dive, if there's any scuba divers in my community, by the way, like and subscribe if you would. We're, we're approaching 10,000 subscribers in the next month or two. Put in the comments below that you like to scuba dive. You'd like to go scuba diving with me. And whenever we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna pick from amongst those comments, we're gonna select at random somebody who likes to scuba dive, and we're gonna take you diving in Anilau. Anilau Batangas. Uh, there's so many dive sites there, I can't even go into it, but they're all wonderful. Some of the best scuba diving in the world. So when we get to 10,000 subscribers, comment, I want to go scuba diving with you, Matthew. And I'm going to pick from among you guys, and I'm going to choose one of you, and I'm going to, I'm going to announce it on this channel, and I'm going to take you scuba diving with me and Annie Lau. It's my way of just giving back to people who have given so much to me. This channel has been so good. I appreciate all the likes and subscriptions that I've received over the last few weeks, over the last month, because you've helped me help my channel grow, and my wife and I both appreciate it. So when we get to 10,000, I'm going to pick a name to say that you want to go diving. I'm going to pick one of you guys and we're gonna go diving together in any lab. All right, we're gonna wrap this dude up. Hang on. Well, the sun's going down on my day. My battery on the camera's dead, but batteries on Matthew are dead. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you would. Uh, a lot of work goes into making these videos. I know it may not look like it, but this is kind of difficult for this old boy from Arkansas. So please like and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would. Again, for Matthew, for Mariel, for Paradise Found, for everybody here at Italiani's, uh, please take a minute and come by here and visit if you get a chance. They let me, kind enough to let me sit there and shoot my videos all the time uh, at Uptown Mall. But uh, for Matthew and Mario for Paradise Found, I appreciate everybody. God bless. And until next time, ingat.